Mayor of New York City came up again today at the corruption trial of the former Nassau County Executive Ed Vengano. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff joins us now live from Central Islip, where she has been listening to testimony today. Carolyn. Good evening. It is the former Nassau County executive who is on trial, but yes, the name of Mayor de Blasio did come up yet again today. It seems as if the defense is trying to illustrate the difference between horrendous things, attempted bribes and overt attempts at that of the mayor and his gifts in friendship to Ed Mangano. This is exactly what Mangano has been waiting for, a chance to show the jury that it was all just part of an honest friendship. The defense trying to convince the jury there's a difference between friendship and bribery, asking the former restaurant mogul if his conversations with Mayor de Blasio about violating campaign finance laws were unambiguous and left no doubt they were bribes. At one point, did you say to him these transactions are not kosher? Twice Singh answered. But Singh's relationship with former Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano, just a dear friendship. Wife Linda wiped away tears as Singh testified about milestones celebrated together. The defense offering up an innocent explanation for every gift Singh gave the Manganos. But Singh wasn't budging. This $3,600 massage chair, a gift coinciding with a birthday fundraiser. The Manganos didn't want gifts from you, did they? Asked the defense. Singh's response, they never openly asked, but they would always indicate. This $7,300 watch for Mangano's son and this pricey office chair. The defense maintained they were just gifts from a wealthy best friend and offered these text messages from Linda Mangano. Hi, my pal. No gifts. Nothing, please. Just your friendship. No gifts. I will not let you in the door with a gift. Singh's response to the jury, by that time she was on my payroll for a no-show job. What she was saying was, I had done enough. Now, Singh did stand his ground through hours of cross-examination. He told the jury that it was a friendship, but it was also a business relationship and that he felt Mangano felt he was obliged to give back. That is called a quid pro quo, and it's what the government needs to prove here in order to convict. Reporting live from Centralized, the Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.